Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Didn't do a video last week. I was a bit busy, so uh, I didn't bother. I've still got footage. I suppose I could have used some of that. Never mind. Anyway, I'm on the way to work now. In traffic, I'm on the way to work late. Um, I'm not starting until nine o'clock because I think the ferry was delayed. My trailer is not going to get back to the yard until nine o'clock. So. There's no point in going in any earlier, really. Uh, so, yeah, I'm on the way. It is Thursday the 19th. I think it's the 19th, I don't even know. Is it a clock on the dash? Is it a date anywhere? No, there isn't. <laughs> uh, so, the bombs are leaving at this time for work, even though the roads are suspect are going to be a bit quieter than usual. It's 8.23 now. It's uh, is school traffic and um, normal everyday traffic so I think I may have left a little bit too late normally it takes 25 minutes to get to work uh, yeah, I probably should have left earlier because I think it's going to take longer this morning uh, so I've been reading a lot of on the uh, come on then I've been reading a lot on uh, the Facebook must be true it's on Facebook uh, I've been reading a lot of, uh, about the, the virus and stuff and the effects it's having on everyone's lives and jobs and stuff. Um, uh, then some temporary new drivers, I was rules, the new ones have gone out the window, kind of. Um, I, the, the problem is with the new rules is I can take advantage of it where I am taking food or essentials, what is set out, what is set in the, uh, the guideline that is, and um, that's no problem. But if I'm doing a mixed bag, so say in the morning I'm doing, I don't know, compost or something, then that doesn't class as urgent, you know. But if, say in the afternoon and then doing a food run, then I can take advantage of it because obviously it's it's essentials. But I won't be able to do it the other way around. If that makes any sense. It probably doesn't. <laughs> it's warm in here. So let's see what this week brings us get to work on time that is <laughs> uh, what else is there I think that's it for now really let's just uh, get to work see what happens well it is now 10.15 uh, this unit we've got I have got is from a different department different depot and it was disgusting. Anyway, it's clean now. Lovely. Apart from the seats, the seats are disgusting. Oh, and someone's broke this one, so you can't adjust the... Uh... Okay, so I'm going to have to move the seat a bit closer. I've got longer legs. There's that they're hanging off. Right, so... Just double check I've got curtains. I have. Seatbelt, how dirty the seatbelt is, it's disgusting. I don't, I don't know if some drivers can uh, put up with it. I'm going to have to move the seat forward a bit more. Anyway, we've got the trailer on and uh, we're ready to go and do the first delivery, which is in Manchester. Imminent, imminent engine shutdown, whatever. Or it's the south level. That first one is in uh, Manchester. Don't like this unit. Yeah, first one's in Manchester, second one's in uh, Tamworth. Third one is a collection for uh, Weetabix. 
that's down in Kettering. So uh, that's I'm not sure where exactly that one Kettering's going. It's going. If we go into one of the ports, that's, uh, we'll find out when we get it. Which one? Yeah, I'm not sure how to turn the, uh, the screen brightness up because I'm sure that will turn up the, the brightness on the taco head but I don't know how to do it because uh, Renault make them so complicated and ridiculous, it's untrue. Right, so we're at the first one. That only took about 20 minutes. Oh, the Bay's Eye one that looked like they're empty as well, that's good. Oh no, one of, uh, there's one space. Right, that's that done. Wasn't there too long. Oh, what's the code now? What's the code? Uh... Yes, remembered it. Right, so now we're on our way to Tamworth. Get the rest of this trailer emptied, and then head down to Weetabix and pick up some. Well, I'm guessing Weetabix, but it could be other. It could actually be other stuff from there, like uh, hopes and stuff. Turn left, they do. They make more than just Weetabix. Turn left. So, what's the travelling time? It's going to be 96 miles to. Two hours and two minutes. Right, drop number two of the day. Um, After 200 yards, turn right, then turn left. Hopefully, the, uh, hopefully a minute out because there's not much left on the trailer. But you can be waiting quite a long time just for turn them right, to start. Then turn left. Turn left. I hope the old lady's not on because she gets very confused After on the security yards, here. Turn right, then turn left. Turn right, then turn left. Turn left, then turn Shut left. Shut up. Right, 22, which is round the back. Hopefully the bays aren't well packed. What did it say? 22? Did it say 22? 22. We'll do a spinner! around when possible. 
the doors. Right, several hours later. In fact, how many hours later? How many hours? Shut up. Takes too long. Six o'clock. I go here at four. Two hours. Now I've got to get back to the yard now. It's like going to port. I thought it was going to thought it was going to port, but it's not. So I just need to give the yard a quick ring, so I'm on my way. I suspect this trailer is going to get dropped at the yard and then immediately get picked up and go to the port. We'll find out. Right, so today's been pretty much a pretty easy day. Uh, oh, I'm going to head back to the yard now. See if they've got anything else for me to pick up from the yard because I've got loads of driving time. It's going to take 2 hours and 45 to get back to the yard. And today I've only used 3 hours and 45 minutes of driving so far, so I've got plenty of time. Right, I need to suss that out to make the brightness on this dashboard. It's, why would someone have it off? Ugh. What does that do? Oh, there we go. Found it. That was easy. <laughs> right, let's go. Well, traffic still seems quite busy. It's only 7.35 though, so probably dying down soon. I'm on the M6 just before the... Uh, the road works. Uh, not the Coventry uh, road works. The, the other side. Uh, making good progress. Should be uh, should be at the yard for around about eight. I reckon around about eight thirty-five. Right, just uh, out the yard now. I'm about to drop this trail. I've just been in the office. And I've got myself another load, wasn't too difficult. We are very busy at the moment. So I'm gonna <clears throat> take that trailer to Hollyhead and the one I should be picking up in the morning has missed the boat in Ireland, so I'm gonna pick that up from Hollyhead as well. Oh, that to me. Um got some bright LEDs in this one. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's going up again. Which one is it? That one. So I'm swapping one Tesco load for another Tesco load. Rise. down again everything shut down shut up right 
paperwork's all up to date. I've got tomorrow's paperwork. I've been having a read of this the emergency exemption for temporary relaxation of driver's hours and working time rules. Guidance December December 2018. Okay, so they already know about. Yeah, so basically it's the guidance for it. The specific ones for this, what I'm allowed to do is, is not in there, but it is, yeah, that's just give you a guide of how it works. Um, I'm not going to, like, by the look of it, as long as there's no delays, I'm not going to need to go into uh, that extra 16th working hour. <clears throat> Driving time is perfectly fine. I'm just having a 15 minute break now. Um, and I'm hoping I can get there without any delays. Hopefully there's no roads are up, no uh, road works. Um, it's saying two hours and six minutes. So it normally takes about two hours and 20 minutes, two, two hours and a half an hour, two, two and a half hours. I'm not sure why it's saying that. It also tried taking me some stupid ass way as well, which I've, I've, I've made it go a different way. Don't know why. Um, it says I'm too heavy for the route, so God knows what got it set on weight wise, but it must be wrong. Uh, so that's saying two, uh, yeah, two hours and six minutes should get there after we break 11 20 pm. So that's uh, 14 and 14 hours and 20 minutes. Get out of there, go and park up 10 minutes. Should be okay as long as the drive time is okay because I'm on 2032 now. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, you can tell how, you can tell how busy we are. All the trailers are out. All of them are gone. Well, apart from a few, but I know most of them over there are for collection in the morning, so they will be out. Um, it's going to get restocked. It's going to get a few more trailers in from from the ferries tonight, and the night drivers. But that's about it. Um, unfortunately, we've got some trailers that. The MOT has now run out, and you cannot get it MOT'd right now because of the uh, virus. So unfortunately, we just cannot use those trailers, which is when we really need them. Um, I'm sat next to two trailers now that can't move because the MOT has expired, and they can't get it an MOT. Uh, what can you do, really? Yeah. I wouldn't be sleeping there, no way would I. Ah, looks like there's an intermittent fault on this trailer, it keeps flashing up every couple of seconds and then it goes away, I can't even read it properly. Right, we've made it to Hollyhead Port. Now the other one, the other trailer, is supposed to be getting in at six. Um, I'm not going to be able to start work until eight thirty, so it's got to sit. But apparently, it's not checked in yet, so it's not on the, it's not in the port of Dublin yet. So I don't know if it's going to get, if they missed this boat again, because they missed the last boat, it should have been on an earlier boat. But uh, it's uh, the company that we're doing the actual work for, it's our trailer. They've decided to take the trailer direct to the port from their own yard. And that looks stupid with that blue light around it. Um, They've decided to take it direct to the port, but they keep missing it. The one I had this morning, 
The reason I started late this morning is because uh, it was up. It was it was missed on the night ferry or the evening ferry. So then it was put on the overnight ferry. And I've actually gone over my driving time. But if it was to take a 30 minute break, then I wouldn't be picking up the, uh, the, uh, the trailer till about half nine. Let's dump this and uh, go and hide somewhere. <whistles> right, parked up. Just trying to do my paperwork, but. Um, I need to do a printout to explain why I've gone over my working time, sorry, my driving time by a few minutes. And uh, the printer's not working. So that's not good. So I'm just going to partly fill in tomorrow's. Uh, 476941. Partly fill in tomorrow's and then um, one less thing to do in the morning. So, change that from Holly to Hollyhead. Hollyhead collection. Lancashire, Manchester, Carlisle. I'm going to double check on that in the morning, but I've got it. Right, that's me, done. Today was a bit boring for you, I know, but... Uh, it is what it is. Right. Get in bed, go sleep. <laughs>